One of my favorite parts about being a costume designer is that magic moment when I meet with the actress for the first time or when we put on a costume. It is so special to me because a character becomes alive in front of you. And part of it is uh, the actor is held by the costume and that really helps them transform. They bring so much to me usually in the fitting rooms and that's where all of the detail work begins. It's a pretty special moment. Denitsa Bliznakova is a professor in the School of Theatre, Television and Film and the head of Costume Design and Technology. Denitsa's love for the arts began as a child in Bulgaria and blossomed after immigrating to the United States in the 90s. Right when communism fell down in 1990, that's when my family decided that we were going to immigrate. The worst part about that is I didn't speak English. <laughs> And so that was, that was quite of a, of a setback. But it was at that school when I found the art department. I could communicate without words. Art, drawing, design became this language. And even now I tell my students as designers, we should talk less, show more. We're visual artists. So we could communicate through visuals. And I've relied on that for most of my career. When I teach my students, I always say, you know, when we read plays, the characters come to life in, in our minds. They're moving. So I always encourage um, my students, and I do it for myself, to never imagine a costume being static, but always in movement. And that has to do exactly with what, we, what are we trying to achieve. To be, in my opinion, a successful designer, you have to collaborate. So you're working as a group, in a team, to create a cohesive world. It's, it's getting rid of the my and me and changing it to, to us, to all of us.